Good morning. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We are so excited to welcome you here to our beautiful McAllen Performing Arts Center and of course uh, to be part of this wonderful community that is McAllen with so many vibrant events uh, and activities, recreation spaces, to invite others to enjoy what we get to live and experience every day. My name is Sochil Mora, I'm the Director of Communications for the City of McAllen, and I will serve as your MC for today's press conference. Before we begin, let me recognize all of our honored guests here with us today, starting with the Honorable Omar Quintanilla, Mayor Pro Tem for the City of McAllen. We also have our Assistant City Manager, Mr. Joe Vera. Our International Relations Director, Ms. Daniela Plata. We have the great team from the McAllen Convention Center. And representing the McAllen Parks and Recreation Department, Ms. Karina Jimenez, Deputy Operations Director. And the team that keeps everyone informed about the great city of McAllen, the Office of Communications. Also joining us today is the President and CEO of the McAllen Chamber of Commerce, great partner for the City of McAllen, Ms. Elizabeth Suarez. <laughs> Vice President for Visit McAllen, Ms. Lee Woolridge. And of course, all of the McAllen Chamber Ambassadors joining us. Also welcome Mr. Omar Guevara, McAllen Chamber of Commerce board member. And the President and Executive Director of the International Museum of Arts and Science, Ms. Anne Fortescue. And please let's give a great round of applause to members of the Valley Symphony Orchestra and that beautiful musical presentation from this morning. Well, why is this week so important, National Travel and Tourism Week, to celebrate all that we have here in McAllen? To tell us all about that, please help me welcome from Visit McAllen, Ms. Lee Woolridge. Thank you, Thank you Sochiel. And thank you all of you for joining us today to celebrate, celebrate the spirit of McAllen hospitality. Travel, powering the economy, and connecting America is the theme for this year's Travel and Tourism Week. National Travel and Tourism Week celebrates the industry's critical role in powering our nation's economy while connecting communities and cultures. Travel is a $2.8 trillion industry that supports nearly 15 million American jobs while fueling other important industries for the United States like manufacturing, healthcare, and agriculture all which depend on travel to generate business, spur innovation, and support education. Travel spending supports vibrant and safe communities like McAllen, Texas, and others across the United States by generating $89 billion in state and local tax revenue to support essential services like education, emergency response, public safety, and so much more. Established in 1983, National Travel and Tourism Week is an annual tradition to celebrate the U.S. travel community and travel's essential role in stimulating economic growth, cultivating communities, creating quality job opportunities, inspiring new businesses, and elevating the quality of life for Americans. From our stunning parks and World Birding Center to our premier shopping and dining experiences, McAllen truly has something for everyone. Over the last decade, our city has come together to bring coveted Broadway shows and concerts to our state-of-the-art venues. We've built a full year of award-winning festivals and we've created the official South Pole of Texas. We've seen firsthand how when a city prioritizes tourism and travel, it can create a special experience for every visitor and improve the quality of life for our deserving community. And for this great achievement, I would like to thank our partners, our retail partners, small business owners and boutiques, corporate partners like La Plaza Mall, restaurants that make McAllen the unique culinary destination that it is, and our cultural and arts institutions 
and of course, the city of McAllen and the many departments that work tirelessly to make McAllen the place to be. Thank you. Thank you, Lee, for always representing the spirit of McAllen everywhere you go to entice new visitors to visit McAllen. To tell us why this is so important for the city of McAllen to have such a great partnership with Visit McAllen to encourage uh, travel and tourism, please help me welcome uh, Mayor Pro Tem for the city of McAllen, Mr. Mike Anthenia. Good morning, everyone. What a great day it is today in the city of McAllen. It's great to be celebrating National Travel and Tourism Week here at the Performing Arts Center. It's such a great venue, isn't it? Listening to the Valley Symphony's uh, trio here, that was just phenomenal music, and it's a little taste of what you can experience here in the city uh, really year-round. From our community to jobs to the economy, travel touches and improves it all. Travel is an essential part of the economy that connects McAllen, America, and our, and our international partners. Thank you to our hoteliers, restaurateurs, retailers, transit partners, city departments, city officials, and visionaries across McAllen who have invested so much into our community. Your efforts have made McAllen an emerging epicenter for culture, festivals, and travel. Tourism shares our story with national and international visitors, but it also substantially improves the quality of life for our hardworking residents, and it also helps to lower our property taxes. Thank you to McAllen for its efforts to make travel and tourism such an important part of our economy. It helps by one of the things that it's done, it's uh, calculated a $824 million economic impact to our city. Local tax receipts resulting from travel to McAllen totals $18.8 million, supporting services like education, emergency response, public safety, and more. From hospitality alone, McAllen was able to employ 7,600 residents in our hotels, restaurants, shops, entertainment venues, and transit hubs. Tourism provides vital support to small businesses in McAllen. Like our many family-owned restaurants and services-based businesses, enhancing our economic resilience when our national economy and global economies are performing well, or even when it's not. To continue to grow this vital sector of McAllen, we must continue to foster creativity and treat every guest with genuine hospitality that is the spirit of McAllen. For everyone here today, thank you all for joining us and helping our hospitality industry thrive. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem Quintanilla, for your leadership along with the McAllen City Commission to support all of these events and uh, partners to enhance travel and tourism here in McAllen. To talk about that unique partnership and uh, the celebration of McAllen as a festival city, please help me welcome our Assistant City Manager, Mr. Joe Vetta. Thank you, Xochitl, and thanks to all of y'all for being here this morning. Uh, what an appropriate theme for National Travel and Tourism Week. Travel, powering the economy, connecting America, which celebrates how travel industry powers the economy, connects our people, creates quality jobs, and supports our community. We in McAllen know this very well. With the support of our mayor, city commissioners, and our city manager, we hosted over 800 events 
and generated over $100 million to the local economy in McAllen. McAllen's roots are woven into every celebration, creating new traditions and transforming seasonal events into unforgettable experiences like the McAllen Holiday Parade. Over the past several years, our festivals and events have won hundreds of awards nationally and internationally, recognizing the passion and hard work of thousands of McAllen City employees, sponsors, volunteers, and visitors. In 2013-2014, the McAllen Holiday Parade was just an idea. It was a dream to bring something to the valley in McAllen that our community deserved. Instead of having our community drive thousands of miles to experience the best parades and attractions filled with lights and music and magic, we thought, why not bring them here? We were, we were focused on bringing together our community to improving the quality of life for our community and to making McAllen a destination. Now, as of 2023, it's exciting to know that thousands of people drive hundreds of thousands of miles to experience her McAllen Holiday Parade. And that was just the beginning. Since its inception, we have developed a full series of events, including Fiesta de Palmas, Mexlan, and the South Pole of Texas, just to name a few. National Travel and Tourism Week is an important time to celebrate all that McAllen has to offer. But more importantly, everything that we have accomplished to solidify our place as a true South Texas travel destination. The city's approach to enhancing its reputation and quality of life through events and designation as a world festival and event city is a, is a strategic example of how cities can leverage industry recognition to achieve their development goals. By focusing on creating a robust schedule of world-class festivals and events, McAllen positions itself not only as a vibrant community hub, but also as a significant destination for tourists and event goers. I want to thank all of you all in this room today for the support and collaboration to make McAllen an IFEA World Festival and Event City. No business, no organization, no place, no community, no event succeeds alone. Those of us in this room know it's the connections you create, the communities you engage, the collaborations that you enable that drive real value that come together to form the community that we have. So thank you so much for your support. And uh, I will say that uh, we're just uh, beginning and we will continue to do a lot more. Thank you all for being here this morning. Thank you, Mr. Vera, for your vision for those 800 and plus uh, events that we host here in our community. A great ambassador for the McAllen Chamber of Commerce and McAllen in general, please help me welcome uh, McAllen Chamber of Commerce board member, Mr. Omar Guevara. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. What an amazing week. And McAllen being the amazing city that it is, it's such an honor to be here to celebrate National Travel and Tourism Week. Thanks to the incredible offerings that our city has, from the PAC to the convention center, the restaurants, the stores, the mall, the museum, McAllen serves as a great international destination. And to be in hotels and to be in the hospitality industry and hear the comments from those travelers, those guests, how beautiful it was, how great the parade was, how safe the mall felt, how wonderful our restaurants were. That is the passion that serves the city of McCown, everybody that works together, the city, our chambers of commerce, our hotels, we all work together to make sure that McCown continues to be a prime destination in the city of McCown. 
Tourism spurs the major development of infrastructure in our area and helps make McAllen look modern, clean, and beautiful while providing state-of-the-art facilities that bring comforts of home for leisure seekers and business travelers. In 2023 alone, our McAllen hotels have provided thousands of jobs to local residents. And in terms of occupancy, McAllen now offers over 4,000 rooms for travelers from across the globe. This is all thanks to the partnerships we have developed and nurtured through the Chamber, Visit McAllen, and the City of McAllen. I'm excited to see where we continue to grow, how we continue to grow. Thank you to the city for the amazing events that bring guests to our city. Thank you to Liz for your leadership at the Chamber, and thank you to each and every one of you and to my fellow hoteliers. We have amazing award-winning hotels in our city, and it's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ahmad, and thank you for always promoting the city of McAllen to all of your guests. Well, one half of the department that always does all the heavy lifting for all of those 800 plus events, please help me welcome Karina Jimenez from the McAllen Parks and Recreation Department to tell us about some of those events. Thank you, Sochil. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to start with um, sharing a special thank you to Visit McAllen for their ongoing efforts that enhance our community and, and attract tourists throughout the year to our beautiful city. We at the McAllen Parks and Recreation Department strive to enhance the quality of life for our, our, excuse me, our visitors and residents of the city of McAllen in everything that we do. And we truly believe that sports tourism ha has a tremendous impact on helping us reach that goal. Sports tourism truly is a significant driver of economic growth in McAllen. In 2023, uh, sports tourism in McAllen generated over nearly $8 million in economic impact and contributed to 4,000 hotel room nights through our partnership with Visit McAllen. These events not only boost local businesses, but also create job opportunities and improve the overall quality of life for our residents. The influx of these visitors to our state-of-the-art sports complexes, parks, and recreational facilities do and truly continue to position the city of McAllen as a top choice for hosting regional and national tournaments. You know, in 2017 and 2018, the city of McAllen was selected by the Texas Amateur Athletic Federation to host the Games of Texas. We welcomed thousands of athletes and their families uh, to the city of McAllen, and it's Always exciting for us to, in all of the years since, attend uh, those events throughout the state. And one thing that always makes us a little happy is that the city of McAllen, our hospitality, the amazing experience that we provided those two years always comes up. Uh, it definitely has stood the test of time and I think it's a true as testament, as has been said, to the team of the city and of Visit McAllen in terms of always putting our best foot forward in everything that we do. The Parks and Recreation team is proud to maintain and develop facilities that have proven to be attractive to tournament organizers. We look forward to continuing our strong relationship with the Visit McAllen team to maintain high standards in customer service, ensuring that visitors have a positive experience, enjoy that McAllen hospitality always, and encourage repeat visits. We thank the community and local businesses for your continued support of all sports tourism initiatives, and we continue to look forward to continued success as we grow together. Thank you. Thank you, Karina. You definitely, as I said at the Champion Lakes Golf Course event a few weeks ago, we helped set the standard for hospitality here in McAllen. As McAllen, welcomes visitors from across the state. We also, of course, always welcome our international partners. Please help me uh, welcome Daniela Plata, International Relations Director, to talk about how important this market is for McAllen. Good morning. Muy buenos días. Thank you for making us part of National Travel and Tourism Week. Today, I, I am sharing the importance of international travelers in the tourism industry as they play a critical role in the U.S. economy. 
In 2023, 14.5 million Mexican nationals visited the U.S. and 4.19 million stayed overnight in Texas. That's 28%. According to the International Trade Administration, international travelers spend more in the United States than any other country. In fact, Mexican nationals are the top spenders in Texas. Last year, they spent $3 billion in Texas destinations and stay an average of 4.2 nights. Their spending habits are intrinsically connected with shopping. Our region's retail tourism is one of McAllen's success stories, a success that wouldn't be possible without your efforts. The narrative of Macalear has become an iconic term for Mexican nationals planning to shop in our city. The economic impact they bring to the region is notable and will continue to grow because of the visionary retail and entertainment options they can experience right here at home. Options that you help create and sustain. I recently learned a new global concept called retailtainment. That's new to me. This tourism segment looks for retail and entertainment options. And I know McAllen's remarkable ability to bring to life festivals and special events that have created endless options to cater this specific global segment. International visitors are family focused. They travel in groups with an average party size of 3.3 and they usually visit in July, August and September. As we highlight the importance of the travel industry this week, we encourage you not only to recognize the value of international travelers, but also to embrace global tourism for its potential to drive economic growth and cultural exchange. Let's learn from it and envision a future of thriving tourism. Thank you. Thank you, Daniela. I will certainly follow that retailtainment here in McAllen. One of our greatest partners here in the city of McAllen is, of course, the McAllen Chamber of Commerce uh, to tell us about that partnership and how that enhances the tourism and travel here in McAllen. Please help me welcome the uh, President and CEO, Ms. Elizabeth Suarez. Buenos días a todos. Qué bonito poder celebrar pues aquello que nos llena nuestra alma, que es viajar, turismo, recibir visitas. Yo en lo particular no se me olvida aquel momento que llevo a mis dos chiquitas a Disney, la chiquita Sophie de tres añitos, y que le digo, te vamos a llevar a Disney, feliz la niña. Mami, yo, yo quiero llevar mi maleta porque tengo mis cosas. Sí, mi hijita, adelante. Y ahí va la chiquilla con esa maleta, esa sonrisa, ese entusiasmo de subirte a un avión, de llegar a un hotel, de llegar a un parque de entretenimiento, que todavía hoy me llena. Esa chiquilla ahora tiene 16 años. Nunca se me olvida que cuando llegamos al hotel y estamos sacando nuestras cosas de los belices, pues ella traía todo lo más útil como tres coronitas de princesa, sus cinco batitas de princesa, sus taconcitos de princesa, todas sus princesas y aquella mini más que tanto se paseó. Y pues también mi corazón lleno de esos momentos donde hemos recibido a la gente más importante en nuestras vidas. Nunca se me olvida llegar a la central camionera de McAllen, la viejita, si se acuerdan ustedes, que está ahora donde está la cámara, precisamente, a recibir a mis bisabuelos, que habían hecho pues, un camino largo de San Luis Potosí, de un ranchito, se subieron a un autobús para llegar al, al Pueblo Grande, para después bordar un autobús que ya los iba a traer a McAllen. Y aquel entusiasmo de poder ver a nuestros viejitos, de recibirlos, de tenderlos en casa, ese anhelo por familia y por supuesto los celos que siempre me nacían cuando venían las primas de México de compras porque venían billetudas y listas para comprar y bueno that is what is so special about being a part of the Chamber family and being a part of this great city and I will tell you that one of the things that makes me the most proud 
is that this city has invested in this mission to really welcome, to welcome visitors that come for business, to welcome families that come to be reunited with family, to welcome friends. We have invested not just of our time and our effort, but our money with the creation of a transportation infrastructure that is like no other in Texas. And with the continued investment in supporting private business as they build their piece of that infrastructure that is so important to tourism. I want to share just a few numbers with you all. When we look at the airport and that infrastructure, the city just completed in 2015 a $26 million expansion project. We're getting, getting ready to launch our next huge expansion. And that airport truly has become a gateway for Mexico, for the U.S., into such a vibrant economic area. I'll give you some numbers that are going to blow you away. In fiscal year 1819, our airport had about 414,000 passengers in planning that year. We had a 21% growth in fiscal year 22-23, with over 503,000 passengers departing our airport. Our total passengers that visit that airport far exceeded 800,000. When you look at from 2014, when we were averaging about 200,000 employments, to now, it's astronomical the growth that we have seen. With the addition of nonstop service to Cancun, to Austin, to Mexico City, which was recently launched, year to date, just looking at numbers through April, that airport continues to see growth, with about 16.5% in growth in the number of passengers. And I am certain that that team will welcome at least a million passengers this year. A huge feat for that airport, which has now become the primary airport in the Rio Grande Valley and a gateway to the world. And that's not just all that we've invested in. That bus terminal is a spectacular investment as well, hosting over a million visitors. So by air, by ground, there is a way for everybody of every economic background and means to arrive to McAllen. And that international bridge, you continue to see the importance of that bridge and all that we do. We're grateful for the leadership that Juan Olaguibel and his team, as well as their board, give to this community. They are truly the gateway into the U.S. from Mexico. Also some phenomenal statistics in 1819, they welcomed over 8.5 million passengers. That's people in personal vehicles, just the personal vehicles. In 22-23, that grew to 9.1 million. Year to date, compared to last year, we're up close to 8% in passenger growth. So the phenomenal growth of the bridge continues to be so important. And our hoteliers. We can't do it without our hoteliers. That's a key piece of the puzzle. Let me tell you a little bit about our hotels. Overall in the US, the hotel industry provides over 8.3 million jobs. That's amazing. They contribute over $660 billion a year to the US GDP. And they generate about $186 billion in taxes annually. That's looking at the U.S. overall. When we look at McAllen, the impact has also been quite significant. In 2018-19, in 20, uh, hotel taxes generated in McAllen were 4.1 million. That grew by 20% to approximately 4.9 million, million in 22-23. And this year, we continue to see double-digit growth with a forecasted growth of about 19%. Not only that growth is important to measure, but the accolades that our hotels receive. We're so proud of you, Omar Guevara, for your leadership, for your amazing team. The Radisson McAllen Airport Hotel this year received the gold award in the hotel industry in the Radisson, uh, Radisson uh, Network. 
They represent the top 10% of Radisson properties. And of course, we are not surprised, but Omar was honored as the General Manager of the Year for Radisson Hotel. So a big round of applause to Omar, to his team, to the Patel family, who also continuously receive so many accolades for their properties and key partners like Doubletree, like Marriott, all of their properties. It's amazing the family dynamic that we have in McAllen. Thank you all for all that you do. Even the new kids on the block like Cambria, you guys are, are showing up and we're showing up with our hearts and our hands to welcome all of our visitors. Very proud to be part of your team. And why does this matter? What does it really do? Aside from that personal connection, where you're able to really continuously be connected, it's the numbers, right, at the end of the day. Just to give you a general idea, in 1819, retail sales were at about $6.5 billion. That's in McAllen only, not the MSA, McAllen. In 22-23, that grew to $9.1 billion in retail sales a year. This year, the trend is up. We continue to see about 5% growth in retail sales. So that's money that goes back into this economy. That's the money that we use to continue to invest in our infrastructure and in our improvements. And so, Today, les recordamos a todos nuestros visitantes, pues que en Macallen se van a encontrar con familia, con amigos, que perso con personas quienes vamos a, con nuestro corazón en nuestra mano, abrirles la puerta, darles una bienvenida, ya sea si vienen de compras en nuestras boutiques como Leonas o Carrots, o vengan a nuestro mall, que es uno de los mejores que van a encontrar en Estados Unidos, con servicio especializado como los estilistas de Macy's las tiendas grandes de departamento como Dealers que es una tienda muy reconocida y también las tiendas más pequeñas que representan lo mejor de quienes somos ya sea vas al mall, vas a la boutique, vas al centro de McAllen que no se nos olvide que el centro de McAllen también tiene amplia variedad para que vayas de compras o vayas a alguno de nuestros restaurantes que ahora contamos con una gastronomía a niveles globales. Tu estancia aquí siempre va a ser en familia, en amigos, hablamos tu idioma y te esperamos en Macallen. Gracias. Thank you, Liz, for highlighting all of the various sectors that contribute to the travel and tourism success here in McAllen, and of course, thanks to their partnership with the McAllen Chamber of Commerce that does continue to grow. We have so many different aspects that bring uh, tourism here to McAllen, and one of the most um, beautiful gems that we have here in our community is our International Museum of Arts and Science. And to tell us about uh, the tourism and travel that uh, that attracts here to McAllen, please help me welcome the President and Executive Director of IMAS, Ms. Ann Fortescue. Thank you, Sochil. Um, thanks to the Chamber and to visit McAllen for this opportunity to be a part of today's program. And today's event made me think about how travel and tourism impacts the work that we do at the International Museum of Art and Science and the ways we fulfill this year's theme, travel, powering the economy, and connecting America. Many of us, but not everyone in our community is fortunate to be able to travel outside the Rio Grande Valley to different environments and new experiences. At IMAS, we bring those out of reach experiences to our community through exhibits from the Smithsonian Institution. And for those of you who may not know, we are a Smithsonian affiliate museum. Mexico, and the IMAS permanent collection of over 14,000 objects. More than 85% of our visitors live within 90 miles of McAllen. Local travel is a vital element to powering our economy. We know the museum generates a handful of heads and beds, 
but where we excel in powering the economy is in the food and fuel businesses. Like, our, like all our local cultural partners, driving to our venues and enjoying a delicious meal at one of McAllen's standout restaurants does a world of good powering our local economy. Our community's cultural assets and quality of life amenities are key drivers in connecting America. From hosting regional and national sporting events, to world-class musicians, to international cultural festivals, to the museum's National Museum for the American Latino Youth Ambassador intern that we will welcome this summer, we are connecting America to the Rio Grande Valley in authentic ways and creating unforgettable memories that build community. Thank you. Thank you, Anne, for hosting such wonderful and beautiful exhibits that allow all of us to travel the world. Well, to conclude today's press conference, please help me welcome Ms. Lee Woldridge to tell us the power of Visit McAllen, not only in Texas, but around the world. Well, I think we can all come to an agreement that McAllen is a pretty remarkable city and a pretty remarkable destination as well. And as part of National Travel and Tourism Week, we're excited to embody the sound and pulse of our community. Visit McAllen is uh, asking, excuse me, asking our residents to help us put together a summer community playlist with a twist. Everyone in the city is asked to submit a song through the link posted in our social media channels. And when you submit, you are automatically registered to win the possibility of a giveaway of two nonstop tickets to Cancun. Yes. All participants have a chance to win two flights to Cancun, courtesy of McAllen International Airport and our partnership with Volaris Airlines. Our second prize winner, because there's more, will win a special staycation package at the Radisson Hotel with a complimentary steak dinner, bottle of wine, and breakfast. Thank you to the Radisson. And the first 25 entries will receive a special 956 McAllen t-shirt. All you have to do to enter is go to our Visit McAllen social media pages, enter your information and your song choice for the summer playlist, and you will be entered for a chance to win. A special thank you again to Volaris, McAllen International Airport, and the Radisson. Thank you. Thank you, Lee, for all you do to promote McAllen. And of course, uh, thank you all for being here and for your part in helping to promote McAllen and to bring uh, tourists and travel here to our community. So make sure you uh, visit, the, visit McAllen social media sites, upload your songs, and enjoy all that McAllen has to offer. There's plenty of refreshments and a wonderful send-off for you today and for this week as we celebrate travel and tourism here in McAllen. Thank you.